You know, they used to go together like peanut butter and chocolate. Now it's more like J.D. Vance in a donut shop. Trump and Fox News may be calling it quits after an almost 10-year toxic relationship of fear-mongering, hate-spewing, and misinformation. That's right, Trump threw a major tantrum this week attacking the Murdoch manipulation machine for, wait for it, playing host to too many different opinions than that found in the MAGA echo chamber taking particular aim at certain hosts, most notably Midas favourite Jessica Tarlov, who just recently offered quite the rebuttal to his disastrous all-female town hall. He calls January 6th now a day of love. We have moved from, we should move on from January 6th to this was a day of love. And what I found perhaps the most interesting was that he kept saying we to encompass him and the insurrectionists. So now he's on that team. This They're is not insurrectionists. The but tourists. The, the tourists with zip ties, he says we, and he's now called them hostages, which is a very strange- Keep uh, playing the Jan 6 card. Okay, I will. But this came from someone who had supported him. This isn't about Jessica Tarlow hates Donald Trump. What was once a match made in hell has been showing signs of wear and tear recently between Kamala Harris's stellar performance in the lines then. At times, uh, especially when she was trying to go after Donald Trump, she was fairly effective in that. For, to try to get her point of view across. This is Trump's abysmal showing at the all-woman Fox town hall. And IVF, you had mentioned before right, IVF. let's get this question yeah. because I believe that's what this is about. Oh, I want to talk about IVF. <laughs> I'm the so father, do I, you don't I'm hear the father that of IVF. I'm the father of IVF, so I want to hear this question. Yeah. Couples just trying to grow their family are being cut off in the middle of IVF treatments. They did not want this. And now, I mean, it just gets more unbelievable sometimes. <laughs> and now the man calls himself the father of IVF. <laughs> I mean, what does that even mean? <laughs> I, and, 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 and all of that, well, he is the one who, by the way, is responsible for it being at risk in the first place. And what is sadly, what is sadly interesting i think is that when you listen to donald trump talk it becomes increasingly clear i think he has no idea what he's talking about <laughs> when it comes to the health care of women in america or even his appearance across from Maria Bartiromo, who is usually fighting tears over another stellar jobs report. And when you have Jessica Talov on hand to show the clear disparity between the two candidates, it's no wonder that the unhinged rants are now partnered with direct attacks on Fox News. As we know, Trump held an all-woman town hall on Wednesday, hosted by Harris Faulkner in the battleground state of Georgia. And during the event, Trump declared himself to be the, quote, father of IVF, as well as praising a female senator as a, quote, fantastically attractive person, and when faced with a pointed question about his abortion stance, he offered another non-answer, which prompted this response from Fox News The Five host, Jessica Tarlov. Hello, Mr. President. Hi. My name is Pamela. I am from Cumming, Georgia, right here, and originally from Danville, California. So facing the question of abortion, women are in entitled to do what they want to and need to do with their bodies, right. including their unborn. That's on them regardless of the circumstance. Some are necessary to save their own lives. Why is the government involved in women's basic rights? Right, good, I think it's great and I'm glad you asked it. For 52 years, this issue has torn our country apart. Every legal scholar, the great ones, every lawyer, but the Democrats, the Republicans, the liberals, the conservatives, they wanted it brought out of the federal government. Uh, were you, what were you offended by? Let's hear it. <laughs> okay, well, I'm glad that you asked. Um, I was offended by him calling himself the father of IVF and then saying that Senator Katie Britt is young and fantastically attractive, <laughs> as if that's relevant at all to her concerns about her friends who have used fertility treatments in order to become pregnant. I was offended by the fact that he was asked by a voter why is the government involved in women's basic rights? And he answered with saying, I think it's great. For 52 years, all the legal scholars, the best legal scholars, Democrats, Republicans, both of them, 
have wanted to get rid of it. And that's what I've done here. That is not at all how the legal scholars feel or how the American populace feels. And to the questions about lowering the prices of things, again, no real answer. I'm glad I know more about how donuts are made or whatever was going on there. But I don't think anyone walked away from that thinking that he had any sort of empathy for what's going on in women's lives all over the country. I mean, he kicked it off, actually, by kind of laughing at the Amber Thurman story. There was uh, Harris brought up that they the family had put out a pre buttle and he's laughs and he says, we're going to have higher ratings which seems pretty cruel. You could use that moment to say, I am so sorry that that young woman, a mother of a six-year-old boy, lost her life. But it appears that that may have been the final straw for Donald Trump as he took to Truth Social almost right after to attack Tarlov, her co-hosts, and the network as a whole, claiming that if he is to win in November, it will be despite Fox, not because of them. In any event, it's a weird, 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 you know the word weird. <laughs> They call me weird, they call JD weird. We're very solid people. That's right, just more glaring admissions and calls for allegiance from the man who said he just wanted to be a dictator on day one. And if you're wondering, no, Fox has not yet commented. But the numbers, well, they speak for themselves. Kamala Harris on Fox News garnered more than double the viewers that Trump did. Which shows it's not just the rallies that are bigger, as Harris pointed out, but the viewers at home also. Oh, you guys are at the wrong rally. No, I think you meant to go to the smaller one down the street. Could it be that even those cocooned off from reality in a Fox News bubble would rather hear the vice president answer questions on her plans for the future versus a madman talking about using the military against people who disagree with him? Which, by the way, Kamala made sure to point out during her interview as Fox tried to rig the dice so that it came up with two sixes for Trump. Uh, the question to the former president today, Harris Faulkner had a, a town hall and this is how he responded. I heard about that. They, they were saying I was like threatening. I'm not threatening anybody. They're the ones doing the threatening. They do phony investigations. I've been investigated more than Alphonse Capone. He was the greatest. Oh gang. No, it's right. true. We've no, but think question. of it. It's called weaponization of government. It's a terrible thing. So, Brett, I, I'm sorry. And with all due respect, that clip was not what he has been saying about the enemy within that he has repeated when he's speaking about the American people, that's not what you just showed. Well, he was asked no, about that no, specific... No, no, that's not what you just showed in all no, fairness no, no, no. and I'm respect you to you. I'm telling you that was the question that we asked him. Uh, you didn't show that, and here's the bottom line. He has repeated it many times, and you and I both know that. And you and I both know that he has talked about turning the American military on the American people. He has talked about going after people who are engaged in peaceful protest. He has talked about locking people up because they disagree agree with him. This is a democracy. And in, in a democracy, the President of the United States in the United States of America should be willing to be able to handle criticism without saying he'd lock people up for doing it. And this is what is at stake, which is why you have someone like the former chairman of the Joint Chiefs of Staff saying what Mark Milley has said about Donald Trump being a threat to the United States of America. He's quoted in the Bob Woodward book that way, yes. L let me ask you this, no, Madam no, Vice no, President. You call Donald Trump. The you, you, you of that. call Donald Trump. Um, but I mean, just watch how Trump answered the questions from the all female voters. It is so clear that his attempt to win them over isn't working. When he was asked about fertility treatment, he stumbled, claiming to be the father of IVF which his campaign later said was joking, because that's hilarious. But he blatantly lied to the audience, saying that the Republican Party stood firmly behind IVF treatments, which we know is not even close to being true. Amber Thurman's family have come out on a press call, and they're doing what's called a pre buttle to our town hall right now. Oh, that's nice. Yeah, and <laughs> I wanna get- You get better ratings, I promise. 
Democrats have hammered Trump on this issue time and time again, noting that he appointed US Supreme Court justices who voted to overturn Roe v. Wade and since argued that this opened the door to challenges to IVF. And polls continue to suggest that Donald Trump is behind with women in 2024, despite him creepily presenting himself as their great protector. Yes, that's right, the man found libel sexual assault wants you to know that he's protecting you. And if his attack on Fox News recently is anything to go by, it is indicative of a man and a campaign in turmoil. Love this video? Make sure you stay up to date on the latest breaking news and all things Midas by signing up to the Midas Touch newsletter at MidasTouch.com newsletter.